Hello, everybody. I'm John Hines. Uh, this is a video presentation for my political science 497 class, but for most of you or all of you, it will be environmental science 402, but the class is, is the same for us. It's environmental law. And uh, I will begin with this video introduction so you can see me. And next, I will go into an application that is a screen recorder application. It will allow you to read along while I am speaking. So basically, I will be doing a voiceover. And this will be uh, delivered at a much more relaxed rate. I may even do some explaining. And uh, the reason that I'm doing this is it's required. <laughs> but also, uh, so you can get sort of a more, a more relaxed, thorough, uh, you know, like um, exposure. Because later today in class, and I think the time is around 2.20 AM right now, but later today in class, I will be reading this uh, off of my PowerPoint presentation really rapidly. And uh, I, I just want to make sure that you have the opportunity to take it in in a more relaxed, thorough way. So without further um, wasting of time, let's go over to the um, to my uh, written content that I'll be speaking over. And then at the end, uh, I'll come back and do a uh, an outro and, and enjoy yourselves. And I hope you really have fun with this. All right, everybody, here we are. Hopefully this screen recorder is working really well. Like I said, I'm John Hines here doing this. So um, the title of my paper is Electronics Recycling from Global to Local, Issues and Alternatives. How much can Illinois legislation help? So here we go. So uh, the title of the Illinois legislation I'm referring to is at the top of this, it says the Illinois Electronics Products Recycling and Reuse Act 2012, later revised in 2017, to become the Consumer Electronics Recycling Act. This was the only legislation that I discussed in my paper, and it is the one appearing in the title above. And my paper, while centered on this act, takes a roundabout examination of facts, ideas, and issues at multiple levels to allow you, the reader, well, you're not actually going to read my paper, so some of well, okay, you know what I mean. Most of you are not because you're the students, but I wish you could read it, but this is sort of an approximation of it. But anyway, it allows you, the reader, to return and contemplate how significant and effective this act is overall. So the main purpose of the paper, however, is to ultimately examine a wide range of details pertaining to recycling. So the global and national levels... In 2021, roughly 57 million tons of electronic waste were thrown away. However, the copper, gold, and silver contained in the waste is easier, cheaper, and more environmentally friendly to extract than mining it from ore. The electronics products recycled have a tremendously higher ratio of these metals. Unfortunately, however, American recyclers are legally permitted to export the waste over to impoverished countries in Southern Asia, for example, where laborers use hazardous procedures, uh, which isn't very good for them. Those, those procedures are not good from what I've understood from my research. So, here we go. The United States and the Basel Convention. The United States as a whole does not have any of its own regulations pertaining to recycling or sending electronic refuse out of the country, although individual states and companies have been attending to such matters with rules and voluntary practices. Interestingly, a 1989 treaty known as the Basel Convention was intended to control the outbound transportation of harmful electronic waste from one country to another, but the United States did not agree to it. However, the convention has an investigatory office in California that can catch companies who misrepresent themselves, and this convention has indeed legally charged at least one company with fraud. The Illinois Level, the Act. The Consumer Electronics Recycling Act legally prevents numerous categories of electronics products from being dumped in landfills in Illinois. Instead, they are required to be recycled. An incomplete list includes cable receivers, computer monitors, cell phones, computers, notebooks, tablets, converter boxes, fax machines, keyboards, mice, MP3 players, printers, satellite receivers, scanners, 
televisions, video game consoles, video recorders, and many other types of items. The local level, recycling and disposal. I visited the City of Edwardsville website, which serves SIUE, and it lists 18 categories of electronics that have been banned from landfills since the first day of 2012. It also lists three drop-off locations. Because producers of electronics are required to cooperate in helping consumers drop off their used products, Best Buy stores, for example, and also Staples stores will take such products for free. More local information. Wherever you live, perhaps you can check your local Chamber of Commerce or City website in addition to your particular trash pickup service to find out information about your recycling options. For me, I discovered that the city of Collinsville, Illinois has free electronics pickup services twice a month. Issues related to recycling. One recycling issue is data security, so some services that recycle and dispose of electronic waste must be able to erase and destroy potentially sensitive information effectively. Another issue is built-in obsolescence, where many electronic products, particularly smartphones for example, begin to function poorly after a number of software updates. However, the United States EPA recommends people think about upgrading their hardware or software before buying new equipment. Alternatives to recycling. Sometimes cell phones or tablets can have bulging batteries which need to be replaced. For example, I visited cell phone repair in Fairview Heights, Illinois, but my experience there was unfortunate in that the replacement battery soon began malfunctioning. Now, I will say that I have a feeling that they used a generic battery, but it must have been old or something because my device was pretty old. And they actually gave me a one-year guarantee, but I didn't actually get my receipt. And I was in the car ready to drive away, but I thought, I, I noticed I didn't get my receipt. I thought, well, I could just walk back in there and get it. And I thought, oh, I'll never need it. But before long, this uh, battery just wasn't working. The phone would not, the tablet would not work unless it was plugged in. So it was terrible. Uh, but anyway... I don't really care. It's been more than a year by now. The Best Buy and Samsung websites, returning to my document here, offer numerous trade-in options when buying new equipment, but I found that the Samsung offers were much better for consumers financially than Best Buy's offers. I will say that Samsung really puts it out there to you, like if you go on their website and shop for tablets, they'll actually almost mislead you to thinking you're getting the lower price, but then when you do enough clicking, you realize that's only if you trade something in. But Best Buy, really, they don't really offer much value. And some items, you know, they don't offer any value. But anyway, all of these sites uh, have particular um, requirements, like, you know, your item can't be very damaged. You know, maybe Samsung occasionally has a cracked screen uh, waiver, but mostly your item's got to be in pretty good condition. But anyway, there are, other, there are other requirements that you have to meet. Anyway, let's continue. Conclusion, the act. Let's think back to everything I have discussed to include global, Illinois, and local levels of recycling activity, the dangers to human life in impoverished countries, recycling issues, and alternatives. In view of all the ideas and information presented, how effective and appropriate do you think the Illinois Consumer Electronics Recycling Act is? For example, do you think we need additional Illinois legislation that would also prevent the export of electronic waste? Now, when you think about answering this question, I have to honestly admit that I haven't really said a lot about the details of this act, but it does basically require recycling of a wide range of electronics items. And maybe it's just not, um, you know, uh, powerful enough in preventing these some items that we turn in from being shipped over to other poor countries. So you can go and find out this, look this, uh, you know, regulation up or this act up and find it on maybe the EPA website for Illinois or just online generally. But this is just something to think about if you have time. So here are my references. And I don't, I couldn't get rid of these bullet points when I copied and pasted these in from my paper. So sorry, but that's just how they look. Let's just go through these. Um, here's some more. And here's some more. And then here's the last page. And finally, thank you. Let's recycle our electronics items now if necessary. 
Hello, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my video presentation. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to use a different application that I really wanted to use, which was a particular, um, well, I guess it was a teleprompter, really, and it could allow me to do interesting things such as change the background to, let's say, blue and change the print to, let's say, white or yellow. And uh, I could advance it a little bit differently, like have it scrolling. But what I did end up using was the PowerPoint application for Android, and I used an Android screen recorder. Uh, so uh, that was on one of my Android tablets. I hope you enjoyed that, though. It was fun to make, and uh, I've, I've watched the video, so it came out all right. And hope you all are having a really great class and a great semester. And I will see you all in class today, but by the time you watch this, it'll be after the fact. But uh, basically, I took my time with that, with reading uh, through my PowerPoint presentation. So hopefully you got a more a relaxed, thorough, uh, unhurried exposure to it. And I'm going to cut out now, and I will see you all in class today, and I'll see you all uh, in later meetings. Have a really super great time. Thank you very much for your attention if you got this far. And uh, just have a really super time. Thank you very, very much.